Can't tell if I'm snagged or if I have a fish. Oh, I see something shiny. Hook up Fish on. Whoa. The rain bite. The rain bite. Whoa. Dude, I thought for sure it was snagged because it wasn't going anywhere. Whoa. Pulling some drag. Yeah. Gotta bring up the downrigger beforehand. Oh, got him still. Woo! I love barbed hooks. Oh, I see chrome. I see chrome. Oh yeah. Oh, beautiful color. Beautiful color. Let's go right to the net, baby. Okay, you're not done. I understand. You're not done. You're not done. Oh. Yeah. yeah! In the net, baby! Woohoo! Oh man, dude, this thing is big! This has got to be like... Like low... Uh, maybe like low 20s? Wow! Woohoo! Holy moly! Wow! Smoked it! Dang, I thought 100% for sure um, <laughs> I snagged something because it was heavy. Dude, I, I think I had it in for probably no more than 20 seconds. Yeah! Locked! Dude! Check it out! Wow! A solid one, for sure. I love it. Wow, I didn't have the, the time for the intro. And I'm on easily. Man, this might be a 20, 21. Just shy of keeper in a, <laughs> by ocean salmon standards. Sweet. What's up, guys? In today's video, we're out here trolling. Trolling for fish. Not only trolling for fish, but we're trolling for special fish. And what are those special fish? Landlocked salmon, landlocked king, aka Chinook salmon. Uh, we're at a lake where I believe they stock them. They stock them to die. I'm not really sure what they're doing here. I believe this lake is locked to the ocean. Of course, uh, you know, salmon are, what's it? Not androgynous, but andromedius, andromedonymous. They're the kind of fish that can go from freshwater to saltwater. And, uh, you know, typical wild salmon go into the ocean and then swim back upstream and find, you know, where they were born instinctively and, uh, you know, drop their eggs that way and then usually die off. So I'm not really sure what the case is at this area, why they plant salmon here. I think that's the only way salmon can get here. This is a Jackson Cuda HD powered by the Newport Vessels NK180S. Okay, I think you guys probably know that by now. I've said that name enough. But look, I'm not doing anything. The yak is doing all the work and I couldn't even get the intro out of my face in time because what? This guy jumped on my presentation and ate it. I mean, he gulped the thing. And uh, man, I thought I snagged something and before I knew it, my six pound test line was ripping. And uh, after a fun, probably three, four minute fight, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of dangles in the beginning, I uh, secured my first ever landlocked salmon and I'm hoping that uh, it wasn't one and done. I'm hoping to get a limit, which is five. So, you know, just kick back, relax. I've got the camera over here, got the camera over here, trying to see if I can capture the moments for you guys. So kick back and see if we can limit on Landlock King, AKA Chinook freshwater salmon. Here we go. Definitely not as big as the first one. Let's even see if it's the target species. Yes, yes, yes. 
Woo -hoo -hoo. Wow, okay, he went straight for the bottom there. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> it's like miniature ocean salmon. They go on the same runs, they fight pretty good. This guy is definitely awake. It just started raining. When I caught that last one, the first one, it was raining too, so maybe something about, I don't know, barometric pressure. Woo -hoo. Going right for the bottom. Yeah, I can see him all over the place. I saw some marks and readjusted and brought him back. This is only six pound test, so I'm playing with really light drag. Coming to your home. Got him. Dang, how'd this guy get hooked? Oh, right in the corner of the mouth. Dang, lucked out on that one, shoot. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Whew. <laughs> Heart palpitations. Oh man, there it is. Sweet. Second one. Ah, there we go. Second king salmon. Look how small this guy is, man. This would be a short if he was in the ocean, but since he's landlocked and freshwater body, he's going home with me. And uh, man, dude, these things fight so. So good, they fight just as well, I think, as an ocean one without all the current and the waves and all that stuff, so we don't get all the dramatics of that. But you do get the pleasure of fighting these guys um, in kind of what's essentially a big bathtub. And uh, dang, I'll take it. Number two, three to go. One little boost to the surface later. Mini meaty fish. Oh, this one feels pretty decent. I'm gonna keep moving. Kind of keep my lines straight. Whoa! Yeah! You see that? All right. We've got access to our net back there. I'm still under my little umbrella banini. Okay, we're fighting this guy. To the rig here. Gotta be patient with these guys. I am I am using a six pound test, but I am using barbed hook, so don't want to get ahead of myself here. Alright, you ready? Nice! Got him! Watch how easy this one comes out. Not quite as easy as a barbless, but Whoop. pretty close, man. Could have lost him at any point, I think, during that fight. So six pound test, super light. Man, I've caught, I think, all the fish on the really light rod over here. Let's uh, kind of set that up there. And uh, light line, six pound test has been the name of the game so far. And uh, I think we're going to get this guy in the stringer Get him in the water, cut him, bleed him, see if we can work on the final two in uh, all this crazy weather, man. What an awesome day. I was checking to see how uh, June and Rizal are doing. No judgments today. Yeah, I'll take a pity salmon over uh, uh, hypothermia. Hey, Sean. I love fighting salmon noise from a kayak. Super fun, super fun. He's taking some. Give him some. I'll give him some. Man, they, they go on runs probably like, I don't know, five feet or so. Oh. Whoa, this guy is everywhere. Kind of wish he was in front of me. 
Hopefully you guys can see the show from my camera angle. Let's go, making that rod work. Gray fishing rods, tarantula. I think seven, seven, six or so. Woo! Let's go, baby. Yeah, ripped about 10 feet of line. This is a six pound test, can't far it around. Starting to shiver a little bit, but all of a sudden my blood's going. Funny how fish do that, huh? We will take it. Yeah, number four. Let's go, baby. All day. Just when I say that, a boat rolls up. Woo! Number four. Two very boring minutes later. Let's go, you know what. A few minutes later. A little longer than a few minutes later. Many, many minutes later. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It was this rod. It had to be on this rod. It had to be on this rod, huh? It had to be. Okay, I'm gonna shut things down. I don't have any lines in. these guys today to know what to do. Not too big. He's not too big. I think he's a little hot. A little hot. Got a, got a little life in him. A little life in him. Okay. You ready to come in? No, not yet. Okay. I don't have to come in yet. spot for you too. Got <gasps> yes! Go home fish number five secured. Bang! That's why I, I don't want to jinx myself. I don't want to call it what it is, what it was, what it promised to be. <sighs> My go home fish. Whew, what a day, man. First, I think game fishes of game fishes game fishes I think this is the first first game fish day I mean I've been catching a lot of crab I've been catching a lot of short halibut lately and uh, all I wanted uh, was just a taste of this landlock business and not only did I get a taste I got the five course meal oh look at that hook just broke yeah, incredible went out on its shield oh <laughs> look at that six pound test man i think this is the second rig of the day and uh i exhausted it 100 percent man got my money's worth today man and i was kind of worried i wouldn't be able to get the go home fish he's not on the stringer yet and he's not bonkers blood but there he is black gums okay so if it was white gums it would be the coho but this is black gums. This is a Chinook. Uh, of course, different rules uh, in freshwater. Uh, you can keep five of these, no size limit. And again, I think they stock these guys um, and they don't reproduce. So I think eventually they are expected to die. So uh, we're going to give this guy an honorable passing. But super, super duper excited, man. And to do it in the conditions that we did it in today. Let's put this guy on. Let's just muscle him on. He's ready to go. Look at that, got the fifth one in the cooler, and I think it's the biggest one. But boom! Ooh. Almost got it in the picture. But trust me, 
five landlocked salmon. Go home fish. We're done for the day. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Boom baby. You got four? Five. Dude, I haven't caught anything.